Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we translated English to Russian. This time we're translating English to Spanish, but Spanish is in from Spain. It's not, uh, you know, Mexican Spanish or any of the other Spanish dialects in Latin America. So therefore, it's somewhat significantly different if uh, you're Spanish speaking and you're from South America, Central America, or Mexico even. In fact, I needed a translator just to help. I don't know that much Mexican Spanish anyways. Um, okay, read it with pandas. Import these libraries. Bad lines equals false. Just to show you, there's the English words, and then there's the Spanish after it. Okay, so we're going to do what we did exactly last time. The Spanish text, the English text. We're going to open it, universal time code. Then we're going to append everything. And then we're going to append and sort down here as well. And then we're going to use, uh, we're going to create English and Spanish data with our encoder tokens. Then we're going to do the max encoder sequence and the decoder sequence length. Okay, there's the encoder input data. Remember what I told you last time? Encoder input, which is English decoder and decoder target are Spanish, just like last time, English to Russian. Okay, so we're going to fill in English text, English character, English data, all of that. And then we're, your shape has to be exactly this, otherwise the neural network won't train. So make sure you space everything out correctly. Here's the decoder input data. So this is English, just like this was I mean, this is Spanish, just like this was English for encoder. This is the decoder, so this is Spanish. There's the Spanish text and Spanish character, Spanish data, append. And then make sure your shape is the same as this as well. Now, here's your decoder target data. Do ferritively the same thing as this. Make sure your shape is the same as this. Okay, your batch size is 156, epochs 30, but I prefer 40 epochs for perfection, maybe 50 uh, at the most, 45 I'd say. Ra the latent dim is 256. Last time for the data set for uh, Russian, it would have worked perfect at 30 epochs, even though I had much better results and I was uh, better evaluated with I didn't even need a reverse lookup. Okay. So uh, your dropouts are 15%. Return sequences equal true. Return state equals true. Encoder inputs. And then your uh, state H and C, remember? And then uh, for outputs and as well as for the states. Your input shape is none. And then the Spanish character. Remember, just like English for encoder input. Decoder Spanish. Sigmoid is an activation function. Do not do softmax. Don't do ton. Don't do any of them else. You'll get uh, bad results with softmax. It works. They say it works better in, in this kind of uh, natural language processing. But the reality is try it. You'll, you'll need 120 epochs. It'll take all day long. Okay, so model, encoder inputs, decoder inputs, decoder outputs. Okay, we're using an LSTM. Okay, compile atom. Do not do RMS prop. Do not do SGD. Not even Atagrad. I know Atagrad adapts to the weights, but just do atom. Trust me. If you do Atagrad, you'll get bad results. Do a validation split of 30%. It's just 0.3. Okay, model fit the encoder input in decoder input data and decoder target data. Remember from up there? Okay, and then as you can see, it trained very, relatively well, but I suggest 15 more epochs. Okay, model.save, English to Spanish. Now, guys, remember when Google Translate came out? It was terrible with Spanish, especially, uh, with the different dialects. In fact, uh, yeah, so, but it's gotten improved over time. That's because uh, the Spanish characters, um, 
the combinations of uh, they change depending on the meaning. It doesn't matter which dialect as well. Also, um, remember LSTMs work better with shorter sequences, so it's harder to get accuracy with uh, longer sentences. Now, remember uh, for our prediction. Okay, obviously the Kiros.load model function as well as in load the encoder. Um, for decoder, we got to decode the prediction as well, just like we got our encoder. Okay, do a reverse lookup, literally, of the Spanish and English characters. Then we're going to decode the sentence and predict the target sequence and the state's value. And I'm angry. Okay, remember what I said? Um, for the range in the English character, we already did the reverse lookup. We're going to turn them into arrays, and then we're going to predict. Estoy enferma. That's our next one uh, I think I'm going to do. Okay, estoy enferma. We'll do can I go. And then we'll see. I have to know what it's supposed to say. Okay. Estoy enferma. I'm sick of it. So I'm sick of it and I'm angry. Somewhat the same. Okay, now let's do Can I Go? Just think about it. I'm sick of it. I'm angry. When you're sick of something, like sick and of something, aren't you angry? Okay, can I go? It's supposed to say puedo ir. I think my pronunciation is good enough. I go. Natural language processing is a funny thing. It's just like for my sentiment analysis. Also, guys, remember the sequence to C model where I translated English to German, even though I don't know any German. Um, that's an LSTM based. No, this one actually is incorrect. This one means, can I help you? Not, can I go? Should say puedo ir. So, guys, this is one of the challenges with natural language processing, um, specifically in sequence models with certain languages. Yeah, the characters are very close to English, but with certain languages, the combinations uh, can make it difficult, especially with uh, LSTMs are quite necessary. Uh, see my Russian, I had 100% accuracy. Okay. Like I said, you can use this for any data set. Just change, use my code and uh, fill in the blanks and implement your own methods for the neural network. Don't take my word for it. You implement your own methods. Implement your own data sets. And uh, do this okay guys i uh, hope you learned from my video um be sure to stay tuned thank you and don't forget to hit like and subscribe next time i uh, i haven't decided whether we're actually gonna do text classification or we're gonna um do sage maker uh, I felt I've done enough convolutional neural networks for a while. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. Thank you.